hi all most of us may be wanting to generate ideas to make our engineering or science projects excellent and outstanding we keep thinking over it is it not but you need to know that even the wisest person in your class is searching for ideas well the idea lies in your project itself you can make your project more meaningful and impactful by performing an environmental impact assessment of your project using open lca by conducting environmental impact assessment you are finding out the environmental footprints associated with your project in this video we will discuss on how to develop a product system using open lca whether you are doing experimental or theoretical work you can build a project system or product system from the raw materials used by finding out the origin of these materials in your project what are the processes for material processing and how is the material transported and after that how much is the material consumed if you can take into account all these factors using open lca you are doing a cradle to gate life cycle analysis so based on all of these factors you can conduct a cradle to gate life cycle analysis if you also take into account its disposal then it becomes cradle to grave life cycle analysis so you using open lca you can perform cradle to gate analysis cradle to grave analysis also open lca can give you model graphs of your entire life cycle it can give an account of ozone depletion possible emissions from your project then carbon dioxide footprints and also a project report which can be submitted in the form of a thesis or if you want to publish a paper the results on the project report can be taken into account now you have upgraded your project or uplifted your project to another level and it has become top notch and eco friendly if you want to publish your paper by performing environmental impact assessment it becomes an added bonus and your project is likely to have a high acceptance rate so don't waste time on ideas please watch h tech tutorials like and subscribe my channel i'll be coming up with new videos every wednesday and saturday also watch open lca tutorials in my playlist we are currently doing a plastic pet water bottle cradle to gate lca which can be extended to your projects also so uh, we have seen the various stages of modeling in life cycle analysis it starts with flows processes and product systems and the next step is to design the product system it is uh, coming from the processes the processes have already been initiated uh, uh, totally we have three processes and from the last process we initiate the product system and uh, as we know the product system uh, comes from the last stage which is the pet bottle field and when we uh, come to the uh, 
main menu of open lca we can see the processes in which you have the three processes and we start with pet bottle field and here you can see there is the create product system so we click on that and then we have uh, we have we can create a new product system i will name it as pet bottle production so it starts on the last process pet bottle field now i click on finish and now i have a new product system which is coming up by clicking on the finish button so pet bottle production uh, the main menu is coming here you can see uh, pet bottle field is the product flow property is mass unit is kilogram and target amount is 1.065 we click on model graph if the systems have uh, been designed in a correct form then uh, all the uh, parameters will come up in a, in the form of a model graph uh, so you can see the last process is pet bottle field uh, the input process is coming into it is pet transport uh, and uh, to the pet transport we have pet granulate production and uh, lorry transport coming in and uh, these are all system processes and if you want to see the unit processes we can click on the particular uh, graph or a particular box here and we can see the inputs to the system so in pet granulate production we can see the inputs to the system uh, are uh, polypropylene granulate polyethylene uh, high density granulate and polyethylene terephthalate and if you want to see again uh, the inputs which are uh, we have not given yet but we can uh, of course give uh, those inputs also if required so uh, it comes from all these chemicals uh, that is polypropylene polyethylene high density uh, polyethylene terephthalate all these are coming from dummy energy uh, packets dummy wooden pallets dummy chemicals dummy wood dummy hydrogen dummy plastic etc if you want you can uh, of course give that also similarly small lorry transport is coming up from uh dummy uh that is the lorry transport uh is coming up from various other sources that also we can provide if necessary so this is how the model graph of the complete system uh, uh is designed so uh, and these uh, graphs uh, can be seen in a complete form only if the uh, processes and the flows have correctly been modeled and we can see the in the last stage we have the drinking water also coming up uh, and if all the uh, inputs are not given correctly it cannot be uh, formulated correctly so uh, if you want to know the providers we can just right click on the particular uh, box and you can select providers so here you can see small lorry transport is coming up as a process which has already been given correctly so in pet granulate production we can go uh, to the search providers uh, there we can give the polyethylene poly uh, terephthalate and polypropylene granulate so all these can be built up uh, if something is missing in the model graph so uh, once you have got the complete model graph uh, you can uh, give that in your final report also so uh, providers for each of the uh, boxes in the model graph can be uh, given from such providers for so that is the speciality of this model graph and uh, this is actually uh, you can say it is a flow chart of the complete system or a model graph of the complete system this of course we can frame it in the project report of uh, your uh, cradle to uh, cradle to gate life cycle analysis chart so here we can see each of the uh, above uh, model graph parameters have been formulated and then you can save the project also you are watching htech tutorials for more educational content like share and subscribe